Hey guys, this is David with Farmeter.com. In this video, we are out field testing my custom 22 Creed mower on some cooperative rock chucks, and then we're able to take it out for its intended purpose, which was nighttime hunting for coyotes. I will go over the build and show you the footage of the hunts. Stick around and check it out. Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. You want yardage? Yeah, verify. 232. Standing up now. That was way right. Way left. Or left, left, left. Take your time. He doesn't know what's going that on. Did, that was... He's behind a bush now. 22 Creed more hit. 230. Is he dead? I'm watching Casey Carson. Okay, I'm stopping recording. Although we had some some that had dramatic flips, you know, from impact bullet impacts, when you actually look at the majority, uh, I'm not even the majority, some, what I'm finding is the AMAX for varmint hunting is inconsistent. There's all kinds of threads out there that talk about how they use matched bullets for varmint hunting, and that's perfectly fine. Maybe in your conditions and what you're shooting, you're getting good results. I would rather have a heavier Varmageddon or Blitz King or VMAX, something that's geared toward varmints with a boat tail that are just heavier. You know, we don't have really anything in that high 60s, low 70s weight range. So, uh, like a Nosler 70 like, grain. Yeah, exactly. Ballistic like, tip. like a Nosler 70 grain Varmageddon or a tipped. Actually, I would prefer a tip. The ballistic garment. tip. The tip ballistic tip would be perfect because we're transitioning a wave. Everybody had 22 250s, 223s, 221 fireballs. I, I mean, all of these 22 calibers that were light, fast moving, uh, fast cartridges. When I'm talking about muzzle velocity, but they were generally geared toward lighter shooting bullets. Well, now that we have evolved and we have better smokeless powders. We have phenomenal cartridges, again, like the 22 Creedmoor. Um, we need these heavier ballistic or these varmint bullets, you know, for our exact purposes that we're doing now. You know, the guys that shoot prairie dogs a lot, I'm sure that they would love to have some heavier varmint bullets. So anyway, um, action's phenomenal. Absolutely love it. Uh, trigger, this is a uh, Trigger Tech. Uh, 700 trigger adjustable and um, everything on here is just perfect. I mean, I love the Accutech bipods. If you've never seen these guys, be sure to check them out. Rock solid. So that's it. We're going to get back to rock chuck hunting, but uh, thanks for stopping by. Oh, I'm recording. I've got them like 249, 250 from here. 22 Creed, 250 hit. Twenty two Creed one eighty one Rock Chuck dead right there. High or or left, I don't know which. You wanna wait for him to pop up a little bit? I made a correction. Okay. K 
Okay, you did not hit him. You hit the rock, but you might have shrapneled him. 22 Creed. 247 yards. Are you going to do yards that you want me to give it? 93. Yes, I'm ready. So back to what David was saying about match bullets. Check out this rock chuck and the results. You hit him. He's about to fall off that thing. Twenty-two Creed more hit twice. I wanted to take a minute and share a few pictures that we took during this hunt. In the first picture, you can get a very clear view of the rifle and its components. Here are a few pics of the kills we were able to collect. And if you notice, these guys are intact with simply small penetration holes as a result of the match bullets. A complete list of the components and the manufacturers are detailed over in the article at varmeter.com. Be sure to stop over and check it out.
Well, there were just three videos of coyotes I took with the 22 Crete Moor build this season. This build has performed flawlessly on all of my hunts, and I was extremely happy with the clearance of the bolt handle on the Kdex Defense Action and the Envision Halo LR Thermal. All of these coyotes were called in using my Fox Pro X-Wave, and you can notice that the pelts are not destroyed as I previously experienced in my 308 when I was using the 110 gram Farmageddon bullets. Now, although I had mixed reviews on using these bullets with the rock chucks, the Amaxes seem to work extremely well on coyotes. So there's a few pictures scroll through uh, before the ending here. Just wanted to let you guys know that this 22 Creedmoor is the third Bolt Action 22 Creedmoor custom build. We have one more coming, and then I just finished up an AR-10 and 22 Creedmoor. Um, and we'll have more on those as well. Here's the ending. We appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Um, that way it screws with YouTube's uh, trying to stop us from getting our word out. Okay, talk to you guys later. See you on Varmer.com. So many of you don't know that we actually have a website and we have articles, videos, hunts, reviews, range reports, thermal optic info, and a lot more. A lot of these link up to the videos that we have on here so you can go back and refer to them as far as finding out information that you saw in the video, but it, if it went by too fast, you can click over on varmature.com and check out the article and all the information is there. So we'll see you over at varmature.com. Thanks a lot for watching.